Hello, everybody. I hope you guys so far has been enjoying this series, which is Donovan and Darius in full transparency, where I get a chance to share some more of my life, little 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 areas here, there, things that are significant, things that are insignificant, whatever it may be. And the whole hopes of this, the whole reason why I'm doing this, not because I want people to say, oh, pat down on the back, is because I hope that through this, somebody may get encouraged, somebody may realize that they're not alone, somebody may realize that, you know, that they can make it through whatever situation that they go through. I've been through ups, I've been through downs, I've been through poverty, I've been, you know what I'm saying, I've been, you know, what they call rich, you know, all that, I've been divorced, I've been all, the, you you name it, I've had all those things. And so today, today I'm going to talk about, the, the subject of today is um, is bringing my brothers to college with me. Is bringing up my brothers to college with me. There was a movie out, um, there's a movie out now, it's called Safety, but on Disney Plus. And it's about a guy who went to Clemson and his mother went to rehab um, because she has substance abuse and because of that, the, the son who was his brother who was probably about 11 years old he had nowhere to go he didn't have family he had nowhere to go so what he did is he snuck him on campus with him and you know he tried to get the help of his teammates to try to help him out to try to help him you know and then soon you know the word got out that the son was that, that the brother was there and there there was now was out in the open and so, uh, so the NCAA voted to allow to assist him. Well, that is a story on Disney. Well, I'd like to let you know that that really happened in my life. My third year in college, when I was at Syracuse University, I got a call from my mother. You know, it was a call where I came home from spring break practice and there was a little, there was a little answer machine you know, so it was a little box, and for all those millenniums, the little box, and it used to have a button on there. You used to push it, it used to go beep, and then all of a sudden, uh, there was a voice on there, and it would give you a message. Well, the message from my mom was very scary, very urgent, give me a call right away. And so I called my mom, and my mom said my brothers were in trouble, that they were at school um, in Camden, New Jersey, which was considered the third most dangerous city in the country to live in. And uh, somebody had pulled out guns and guns on them and was chasing them around the school and so on and so forth. And so me being the older brother, I was two years older than one of my brothers and four years older than my other brother. You know what I mean? It was something on the inside, um, you know what I'm saying? Maybe God on the inside that just out of nowhere before I realized it said, send them to me. So I sent, so my mom sent, sent them to me. Now at that time I was scared. At that time I was nervous. At that time I had no idea what I was gonna do, but all I did know is that the natural part of me on the inside says send them to me. So again, so my, so that was on a Thursday. That, sat, that Friday or Saturday they were on a bus to Greyhound. Here I am now, a full-time student, full-time athlete, you know what I mean? Now being a full-time father, brother, friend, you name it, all at one time. I was still living on campus at the time, um, and so they had to kind of live with me. Nobody really knew about it at the time, um, except, you know, except I went to the, the head coach, and I said, Coach P, which was Paul Pasqualoni, I said, you know, I told him about the situation, and I'm grateful for Syracuse again. That's why it matters where your kids go to school. I went to, I went to Syracuse, and they said that they would help me in any way they could. I went to the athletic director, um, his assistant, Miss Kimball, she helped me out. She wind up, they wind up working together to give me the money that I would get for scholarship, for food. They gave that money to me so I can try to help provide for my family. The money that they would give me for board, that will, you know, for, for room and board, they gave that money to me so I can provide for my family. I went to social services, so I was on welfare with my brothers, you know what I'm saying? All the while, I didn't, I, I didn't have any idea exactly what I was doing. I had no idea. All I knew is that I loved my brothers. All I knew is that I had to be there for my brothers. All I knew is that this was the opportunity to love my family. And I'm sure there's somebody out there that's made sacrifices for your family. You're making sacrifices for yourself right now, for your family, for your friends, whatever it may be. That you, you may not know exactly how to do it, but your heart is leading you the whole way. And so that's how it was 
was that's how it was from there so they spent at least two years with me and so they went to high school so both of them was in high school um they went through a program that helped them graduate within two years you know what i mean so one of the biggest accomplishments was not me getting drafted into the nfl it was being able to know that my brothers were able to graduate from high school and then go to then go to college you know what I'm saying, after that. And so again, during that time when, when, when they were there, you know what I mean, I can tell you, I signed for full, full parent guardianship of my brother. So they were they were basically my children. You know what I mean, from there, I had no idea what I was doing, but I was just, again, allowing love to lead me. And so I say to you, you know what I mean, whatever it may be, you may be in a situation, you may be going through something that you may not know how to go, go through it but something in your heart is leading you so i had to trust god to, to to lead me to give me the decisions no it wasn't an audible voice but it was just something from the inside you know what i'm saying that was going from there and so we had a great time that drew my brothers closer together our family is closer together because we went through it my brothers you would have thought that they were college students because they were up on campus they were at the, the student parties they were doing a little bit of everything like that was a moment that they would experience that they never would experience before and so we had a great time you know what i'm saying with that and so so with all that being said i wanted to share in full transparency about a situation that i had in college where i had brought my my two Two younger brothers, you know, what I'm saying, up to live with me in college, and so again, you know, feel free to, you know, what I'm saying, to subscribe to the Donovan Darius Motivate, uh, where this is where this series, Donovan Darius in full transparency, will be at. Um, to this day, I have one of one of my young my youngest brother. He owns his own barber shop. You know, what I'm saying, fully paid for, no debt, no anything. He owns a full barber shop here in Jacksonville. I have my other brother. He rides he he rides trucks for a living. He also worked with, as, as a parole officer, you know what I'm saying, with the Dallas, you know, with the Dallas Sheriff Department as well. So they're doing well, they're good, they're fam, they're, they're married, they have children, they're doing well. And so again, I like to leave it on a good note as well. So again, um, you know, so that's my story and I'm sticking to it. That's how it was, that was Donovan, you know what I'm saying, bringing his brothers to college. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope, I hope you got something out of it. Hope you're encouraged, okay? I'll see you guys on the next one. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button so that way you'll be able to get these when they come up. All right, talk to you later. Peace.